Hello everyone, with me today is my brother Andrew, and we are in for a bit of testing, and you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. So this video is something that uh, I have been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, we are currently working on a project, my brother and I, uh, who he is helping me sort of in the investment side. Um, as well as tasting side. For for you, Lanceros isn't a common thing, right? No. I don't see it a, in a whole lot of humidors. So when I see a Lancero, I try to taste it because I do right. like Lanceros because it seems to bring out more flavors that I can get from them. So yes, I, I like smoking Lanceros. The thing I think uh, about when I hear Lancero is you have more wrapper to filler ratio, so the flavor tends to be stronger. Unfortunately, in the past, sometimes Lanceros get the rep reputation of going out easily, the draw is not working really well. Um, the, what's impressing me about this beyond just the flavor, and we'll jump into the flavor, but this is a box press Lancero, so that's somewhat unique. Um, dark, dark Maduro. It has a good amount of sweetness to it, but the smoke output and draw is just incredible. Like, that smoke that's just oozing off the top, it's almost like a uh, Drew Estate cigar. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. There is, and and that's the difficulty when you're whenever you're test blending something. Of course, you're not only thinking about your personal palate, mm -hmm. other people's palates as well. And I know that yours and I's is rather different. Yeah. So, and where would you say that your 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 palate, like strength wise, uh, I like lies? Medium plus. Okay, in the medium, and I'm definitely medium plus the full body. I prefer like a strong, strong cigar. Which this seems to be the full body. And and sometimes when you run into stronger cigars, there's also the side that is uh, too peppery. Mm -hmm. There's too much pepper, it's kicking you in the face. I don't feel that's what I'm experiencing here. It's a different type of strength. Right, and you know my palate, when it comes to pepper, I start to tend to stay away from those cigars. But this one has just enough pepper in there to get your get your motivation to, mm, I want to try this more, I want to try this more. Right, Instead right. Instead of, uh, this is too much for me. It reminds me a little bit of that, like, black label, dark, sweet. Mm -hmm. But also, getting into the second third here, it reminds me a lot of the Aquitaine. There's there's an Aquitaine, like, espresso on the finish. Mm -hmm. The the uh, the retro is also clean, like the Aquitaine. And it seems like because I'm in it just a little bit, but the from how peppery it was from the light off, to now it's transi transitioning into something more um, where you can taste the flavors other than just the pepper. Yes, yes. It, there's that sweet element that I'm really enjoying about it. Um, I enjoy, too, the, the texture of the wrapper. It's very dark, mm -hmm. um, but it's also very clean. Like, you can feel the oil kind of on your, your hands, but it's not this, like, knobby, rustic-looking wrapper. Right. Seams are really close. Um, well, it, it feels... It feels r really well constructed, and it feels like it's not going to just snap in your fingers right. because of how dry or whatever the wrapper is. And interesting enough, when we uh, ran the poll to see what the cigar of the year was, number two was Filthy Viking Lancero. That was one of the, I think, the only Lancero we brought in as regular production. Mm -hmm. We released it through our OGT Cigar Society, and it became number two. So there is a lot to be said. I think really it's just. People, if they have more of an open mind of what size they're smoking, sometimes they're in for something really special. I think, too, when you start to educate your customers, and the customers, whoever you are, learn about the cigar. For me, personally, when I started learning about cigars, I wanted to try more Lanceros yeah. because of how it's constructed, on how they say you'll get more flavors out of it. Right, and right. So... For I think more people that are educated, I think you'll see more of a market for Lanceros yes. in the future. Yes. 
And when testing these blends, the end goal is to bring the highest quality, the best flavor to the consumer. So this blend not only will be seen inside our shop, but also through our OGT Cigar Society. If you want a five pack of this stick, that's when you sign up because you're gonna try some amazing stuff, again, that you're probably not gonna find elsewhere. So at least for me, where I'm at at this point, I think we have just found our next custom blend. I agree. And so everyone, keep your eyes peeled, keep on a lookout because Oakland Tobacconist is going to be releasing a custom blend for the first time here in 2022 and it's going to be available to all those in the society first. If you're not a member, I highly encourage you to jump on, become a member, get a five pack of some of the best cigars that are out there in the U.S. market. It was the best investment I've ever made this year. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. So, get ready, everyone, because Oakland Tobacconist is going to have an awesome cigar coming to the shop. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. <laughs>